Hello, Glitch Creeper here. I'm back, and uh, as usual, I'm starting off in here. But uh, yeah, last time I started off chasing a D Swift or a D Sift. Sorry, D Sift. Still don't know how to get the research for that. I have tried quite a few different variations. Anyhow, as I was going to say, there's a few things I'm going to be working on. Hopefully, I should be able to take down a few bosses because I know where they basically are, or at least. Uh, temples. Uh, Zelda sword skills temples, not like, you know, like vanilla style. Although, admittedly, that ocean monument is tempting. I will be able to take that down at some point, and it should go fairly smoothly. I've got an interesting idea I'd like to try, <laughs> uh, just uh, to get through it. It would be really fun if it worked. I, it, it's just you know, one of those things I'm going to have to work on to get set up, because it involves a bit of thumb craft, and it's just going to be one of those, yeah, right type ideas, <laughs> but it just, it just seems so fun to me, and there's just like no good way to explain it <laughs> without doing it. It's it just like, it, it's just one of those things. You have to trust me on that one. Anyhow, as I was uh, thinking of doing, I'm going to fight a few different bosses, and there is a, an interesting little... Whoa, did I... Oh boy. There is a infernal around here somewhere, because I just got lightning struck. Where does it come from? 80 HP. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that would happen pretty quickly. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just a few moments in and I'm already being interrupted by Furbies. Okay. Furbies that I need to get rid of very quickly. Okay. Put some of that there. That reminds me, my points are semi-low. Not really. I uh, hung out at a silverfish spawner next to the end for a while, by the way, so I have a lot more of these than this first looks, actually. These are just sort of a little despair. Uh, but anyhow, as so I was going to uh, demonstrate... Uh, oh, speaking of which, I probably need to eat one of these. They actually have decent saturation value, which is nice. Uh, used to be a lot of... Uh, Food mods didn't do that right. They, they'd give, like, good hunger bar recovery, but they wouldn't touch the saturation value very well, so it tended to leave you fairly hungry quickly, even if it filled up the visible meter fast, because it wasn't filling up the whole thing. So other mods eventually got into figuring out how to do saturation value fairly well. Though Pam's had always been very good at that, so that's always not, uh, just a special exception to note. Uh, some of those meals was led would last pretty much forever. Anyhow, uh, there was something I was going to do here. I'm thinking of taking on a special uh, boss. But first, I need to have a sapling. Okay, woo. Got jump, got jump. Remember, I have jump. Okay, I have some gold. And this is where things will get very interesting very fast. As I said before, this acts as a very fancy table. Now note how, despite how many points worth of stuff I put in there, this still has an EMC of 32. That's pretty important because that means I can make as many of these as I'd like without having to spend as much points on the gold. So yep, that's right, this is the beginning of a serious EMC loop. Uh, now I do need to get something else just to make sure this works out as nicely as possible. Uh, so whenever I pop out of here, I should be able to... Let me see. Ah, growth. There we go. should be able to do this fairly quickly. And I'll pop back in here. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I should just take it with me. I should just take it with me. I've already got this stuff ready. And missed, the ex uh, missed the experience orbs, apparently. Okay, do I have that in adventuring gear? No, I do not. Some of these I got randomly for various reasons. Not the least of which happens to be Yes Man, my Illuminati pet. Uh, some of which were, you know, uh, random clover. Uh, where is that thing? Did I put that in mob drops or miscellaneous treasures? Because it is sort of a weird miscellaneous item. Yep, up there. We wouldn't put it in industrial. Brewing. Yeah, I did put these here. These are the things that I got from the withers earlier going to definitely have to use those. So I'm just going to take them with me because I 
have pretty much all that I need coming to me right now. Let's see, what's the time? Whoa! Where's the sun angle? Sun angle? Oh, it's just rising. That's very convenient. Very convenient indeed. Don't have to do anything in particular about that. Whee! Draw a mo. Okay, so now I can basically plant this if I just move around that very delicately, and speed grow this. This is from ore trees, and this is how this mod's supposed to work. So in case you're wondering why I have a gold tree, well, that's because this is how ore trees works. It's sort of like how you have the tradition of magical crops and growable items and things like that. Come on, grow. 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 There you go. Maybe a little confusing with my particles off, but I was having uh, some technical issues because I had too many potion effects at the time. Although I figure now I could probably turn that back on, so let me just... Let me see here. It's usually how I have it set out is decreased. It's not that crazy. I don't know. Some people don't like having too many potion effects, and I, have, I do have a few available at the time. Okay, now... I need this to get the leaves at least once. And then uh, how you normally do this is you'd break it with a regular axe. And when did I get another iron hoe? Was that from that infernal? Because sometimes they give you iron hoes for some reason. I know that sounds very contradictory, but that's just how it is. Uh, now since I've got that... Oh, by the way, when the leaves break, sometimes they'll give you the corresponding mineral that they're worth. So theoretically, these would drop gold ingots on occasion. Now, I'm going to break one of these, essentially, normally. And note how it gives you these uh, chops. Well, normally... Uh, why is it tapping in there? I didn't start that. That's weird. Anyhow, normally you get these uh, chops. And what you do is you put them in your crafting table. Apparently, you have to have eight of them, normally. So I'll probably have to do this again. There we go. Okay, I have, uh, uh, you know, nine, like, filling it up. Okay, there's a sapling. I have a couple of these, so I'll use my, uh, my silk touch powers here to make sure that I get some of these whole to show the differences between them. So thank you, silk touch shears. I do have a silk touch axe now, by the way, but eh, I'm sort of used to using these a lot. So this is not really that much time difference. I mean, you, you can do it by hand if you want to. Okay, see, so gold tree log. So, again, let's go with the table. Did I hear something? Oh, it, it was a pig. Okay. Okay, j just wondering. So, teaching it these. They'll be learned for now. Okay, now... Uh... I'd like to keep at least one of these. Well, well I've already taught it to it, so it's not, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. But okay, there we go. So I've, I've learned all these. Now, what's really important is, see how we have the logs in these here? As I showed before... You, oh yeah, that's right. It never shows things while you're in the, the, uh, the interface for your alchemy work. But as I was going to say... You get these, you get the spawner frame. You have the spawner frame, and you surround it with any one of these, and you get a special boss spawner. Well, this is where things will come down very quickly. Because this is gold tree log, so... Gold... I want some of these for demonstration purposes otherwise. So, I'll take another eight, thank you very much. Okay. Oh yeah, I need my transformer. I left that in there, but I can pull them out because I did memorize them. I need a normal transformer for this. That's important because this works with most of the stuff you get from the overworld normally. Uh, nether works mainly for getting quartz and I think glowstone. And the reinforced is only for obtaining the obsidian from them. Now watch how these normally work. They're completely catalytic. They never get used up. But they'll turn these logs into <laughs> the corresponding mineral that you'd normally get from an ore. So you got those as basically as gold ingots. Right? So I got myself some gold. Now 
how you'd normally get the uh, these is let's see here. Wait, it's not it's not showing it right. Hmm, it's not showing it right. That's weird. Okay, okay, I'll just uh, use my exalted crafter here and see if it does it because it may just be that it doesn't like the any eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th that's it. It just doesn't like the any eye for some reason. Uh, that's exactly what it is. But, as you can see, silk touching is way more efficient, because normally you'd smash through several of them to just get one log that you could transmute. But, if you've got silk touch, it makes it so much easier, and I've had that for quite some time. So, I think I'll go ahead and transmute uh, this one as well. And note that you can do that in quick crafting, and you can do that in the full grid. Uh, however many you have around it is just how many you'll get out. And it is shift-click compatible, so you can do whole stacks very, very fast. So that's really, really convenient. Now, let me see here. I don't... I'll hold on to those for later, I guess. But I don't really need this. This is basically an extra. Now, here comes the big thing. I'm going to try to create the boss. So I'm going to have a boss tree now. Oh, wait, sorry. i got to do the other thing first. Okay, there we go. Spawner frame. There we go. Now, this is how this is supposed to normally play out. It's the gold boss spawner. There we go. This is going to be really interesting. Oh, yes, right. It doesn't do it while you're inside. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll use my... You know, I'll, I'll switch to my other weapon. Where's my sunline? Where'd it go? Okay, I, I, I still have time. Ooh. Okay, gold tree boss, I have you. Whoa, did you fling me? Okay, yep. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You're down here. Sorry about that. You can't jump. That is a very low boss when it can't even jump. There we go. Oh, I did a full combo to finish him off! Sweet! Oh gosh, I'm so glad I maxed out that skill! Oh! That was perfect! I finished him off with the full combo! Oh man, I did not plan that. I'm so gracious this thing actually counts as a sword. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh gosh. Hey, don't ruin my moment. See what happens when you ruin my moment, Furby? Okay, as I was saying <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted by a Furby. Okay. Now the thing is, the way it works with Project E is it auto-registers certain things like it's saying sapling. So this is a boss sapling. Not just a regular sapling, a boss sapling. So keep that in mind whenever I pull this off and remove a few extra things that happen due to Furbies. Okay. Okay, not you. We're about to see the difference between a regular and a boss sapling. That uh, gold boss, by the way, was in honor of the n current gold rush in Minecraft, as mesas now have large amounts of gold. That's new to 1.10. So, yeah, that was sort of a bit of a tribute, as I was thinking, which boss would I would it be if it was literally like the only one I chose out of the ore tree bosses? Because the procedure is basically the same. And I'm thinking, you know, it would have to be boss. I, I, I mean, it'd have to be like a total boss fight with gold, because we got gold in... I've got my particles to back on, so why is it not... Why is it not doing the... Oh, can I do it over here? Yeah, maybe it's just not doing those particles. I, I don't know. Here, tree. There you go. You were just a little resilient. You see, this is the difference between a normal tree and a boss tree. Boss trees are much taller. If you don't have the ability to fly, it will take you a while to get to the top of this tree. <laughs> Luckily, I can fly. Now, for some odd reason, they even distinctify the leaves. And I'm about to illustrate that because, again, I have so touch. See, it says, Gold Tree Boss Leaf. Not regular leaf, boss leaf. So that is totally different.
So I've got that. Uh, I already taught it the other thing. So I'm going to just shave right down here and grab all these. And I will get a ton of them because this is a very tall tree. Like, really tall. Like, bullet. And by the way, whenever you uh, initiate that procedure, you should know that you will get the boss type of sapling dropped from the leaves, and that's why they're different from each other, is it's also designating which kind of sapling it drops. So normally it they drop like gold tree uh, saplings, well now it's a gold tree boss sapling. So basically you just get an unending supply of stuff, even without like Project E, because it has a, that those transformers, they never expire. And I got like, see how many Okay, I got three. I actually got more out of that than I did the regular one. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I'll I'll try to. I'll I'll just fly over here, nice and gentle, because there is something that uh, if I show it off or not doesn't entirely matter. But if it happens to time for it, eh, nice, nice. And it did. I am officially going back to the Skylands. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Are you still around where I left you off? Uh, apparently that would be a yes, and you've gone infernal. Special note, when mobs reload, they can be randomly infernal when they weren't before, and vice versa. If they go infernal and go back, then for some odd reason they keep their extended health. That can be sort of a weird marker. Where is that coming from? Is that you? No, that's regular HP. They literally have 100 HP normally. So who is doing this? Where are you? I, I, I know I left off running away from a large dragon. I I know I was going away because I wanted to show taking one down. And, oh, there you are. I wanted to show taking one down this way. Because there's this weird thing that... Oh, there's more than one. Hold oh. Holy moly! I mean, I defeated one and that's what you get, but the, the way they look when they die is kind of a little glitchy. Come on, come on. Oh, missed. Barely. I wanted to finish that one off so much. Come on. Oh, okay, maybe I need to fight them more like the regular Ender Dragon, just let them charge me at their own uh, moment. Because uh, the regular Ender Dragon, you might not know, if you look directly at it, it tends to steer away. But if you just wait for it, it'll eventually charge and dedicate to it. So maybe I just shouldn't look directly at them. They're so fast, though. Just like the regular Ender Dragon. A lot of people forget just how quick it really moves and covers ground. Or air, actually. You know what I mean. But that's what you happens whenever you beat one. You get their egg, and you get Crying Obsidian, which looks really cool. Is Are they swarming me? Is that what's going on? Is Are they calling reinforcements? Are you calling reinforcements? I'm calling lunch break, right right in the middle of this, so dinner break. Ah, there you go. Are they all gone already? Well, I guess that's the flip side of them being really fast. They also escape really fast. Okay. In case you're, this may not be very much, but this is sort of my Thumbcraft base. I know I need to put in a few additional pedestals here. Uh, and I will be putting in a lot more over time, but this is the uh, infusion altar setup, basically. Let me see, do I got my... I just wanted to... I got my... Uh, where did I... do I have it? No, I don't have... oh, yeah, that's right, I did have it with me. But it may not look like it, but I'm actually very safe right here. And the reason why has to do with these very special glowing torches. These are from Project E. They're known as interdiction torches. They're also fairly expensive, and I hear a dragon coming back. Ha 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 ha. And here's what they do. Not only do they try stopping mob spawning, they make a force field. I don't think they can get in because their hitbox is too big! <laughs> Even through the bottom or the top, I don't think they can make it. I think I hit them. But I can't see. I'm blinded. That one had a blindness ability. Thing is, this also flings off a lot of other entities, so I have to sort of do curve shots to get them. Let's 
See, they're force fielded, so I don't have to worry too much. But it is nice to snipe them while they're there. Now, you may have seen this before in Thumbcraft, where you, uh, especially in Thumbcraft 4, where you uh, create this multi block structure, including the runic matrix there. And uh, these basically take the use of the classic uh, arcane workbench, so you need various aspects that are stored in your wand, so it will subtract from those values whenever you have the uh, right things in as usual, but then you also have to absorb from your wand, so if you're not familiar with Thomcraft, that's how it works. Okay, where's the dragon now? Which side? I mean, your complaining is not going to stop me from doing this dragon. This area is covered by the, uh, the uh, Project E security system the interdiction torches. They cost like 12,000 each. They're not ch they're not cheap. Holy infernal. That thing's huge. Luckily, I think that force field also stops their projectiles. Oh, that is the one that's blinding me. Okay. I think they might both be infernals. Okay, curve shot, curve shot. Gooey. Okay, admittedly these may interfere with my shots too. So all projectiles, not not just enemy projectiles, so in case that was confusing. I'm going to do this now. I usually don't have very many issues with the dragons around here. Ah, so if I need to do some infusion later, I do have that ready. However, I'd rather much like to show beating one of these dragons on camera. Oh, you're almost out. If I just if I just trick shot you, you're over. Okay. Because they could try all they want, but I've got a blockade. I was wondering if this would work. I was even thinking of reinforcing it with something else from Thumbcraft, which was the, uh, uh, they used to be called paving stores, uh, again, sorry, paving stones of warding. Now they're just called guardian stones. Uh, it, it's in the book. It's in the book. Yep. Wrong thing. I, di I just one space too many. Okay, let me see. I think it was under artifice. Yeah, ba barrier stone. That was it. Uh, these are fairly simple to make. Uh, although that seems a little specific. But I was thinking maybe of using them later, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, because these are working out so much better. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, I actually have several of them here. You can see the value is quite high, and the recipe is intricate and involved diamond. I mean, the philosopher's stone's more of a catalyst, but redstone torches, diamonds, and glowstone dust, and you get two of them. That's three diamonds essentially, for two of these things. Uh, that's quite a chunk of materials if you're doing it regular. Luckily, I built up a supply. Uh, the dragons seem to have uh, flown away <laughs> for the time being, and I was already about to have run out of time for now and need to take off, so uh, between a special boss fight and getting my infusion altar all uh, thumbed up, for later, I, I think it, I think it's been pr uh, fairly nice, and I have other stuff to do, like I have temples to rampage later uh, with Zelda sword skills. But I got to take on a uh, interesting boss that you've probably not seen before, because I have not seen that mod in action very much. So I just wanted to see, <laughs> I want to see at least somebody pull it off uh, in survival, even if it just had to be me. So I just had to do it. I just had to I had just had to see how it would happen practically. I didn't even use my best weapon. Uh, I used my uh, one of my favorites just because it looks cool and uh, acts cool. Uh, the uh, Star Metal Kopesh. Yeah, doesn't that look awesome whenever I have it in 3D with this perspective? It's like, yeah, that thing looks wicked. So, could you imagine the look on that boss's face when it saw this thing coming at it? <laughs> oh, man, that, that must have been beautiful. <laughs> he must have been thinking, oh, this ain't good. <laughs> oh, well. Well, this is Glitch Reaper, and I'll be signing off for now, I guess, and uh, coming back later. So, I'll see you all, and hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.